Hey, I'm back with uh, video number, what are we on? 26 of 30 days of GoPro. <sighs> Yeah, so today we're gonna talk about the GPS function of your Hero 5 Black and what you can do with it inside of GoPro's Quick App for desktop. I covered how to use the Quick App for desktop in the very last uh, video in this 30 day series. And if you haven't grabbed my GoPro settings cheat sheet yet from back in video number one, I'm gonna link to that at the end of this video so you can go back and grab it. So obviously in order to use the camera's GPS function, you need to make sure it's on. So you can open up the preferences um, here on your GoPro and just scroll down to where it says GPS. Um, and then just make sure it's turned on. And then once you have some footage captured with the GPS on, you can bring it right into the Quick App for desktop and we'll jump on there now and I'll show you what that's all about. All right, so I have the GoPro Quick App for desktop opened here on my Mac and I have a couple of clips in here that I know I have some GPS data, even if it's not like super exciting. I know that I had GPS turned on. So um, I'm gonna double click on this one here and this is where you can make those uh, kind of small uh, adjustments to your videos here. Um, I'm going to click on this one here, adjust gauges. And it's going to ask me what gauges I want to include overlaid on top of my video. I'm going to select all of them so that I can show you what this looks like. I'm going to hit save. And... This is everything that it shows us. So we actually can select some of this stuff and move it. Um, so he here, there's this, there's this thing. We'll, we'll talk about what all of these are in just a minute, but you can actually just drag and move these things um, anywhere you want uh, and just have them overlaid over top of your video. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna turn off the GoPro logo. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off everything except for the info cluster. So this one here is the info cluster. You can make this big or smaller. Um, so this is gonna obviously um, tell you how many miles, your altitude. Um, you will notice that my altitude changes a little bit even though I haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> but the time um, the time will change, obviously. I'm gonna turn off this info cluster, show you the speed tracker. This is kind of the cool one. This one just kind of looks cool. Now, it adjusted my speed like over here when I actually moved the camera physically with my hands. Again, I'm not driving anywhere, I'm not moving anywhere, but that's what my speed tracker looks like. And then under, let's see, GPS path is interesting because again, I was not going anywhere. Literally was still in the car. Um, but it's definitely interesting that I have a GPS path without moving. Um, the speedometer, that's over here. Speedometer stays at zero. Oop, if I move it, then there I am going one mile per hour. Um, so interestingly, <laughs> It cha the compass changes. I don't know if that needs to have like some kind of calibration or uh, I don't know, maybe just being in the car kind of makes it not accurate. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll turn that off. And then the G-Force, pretty much I have zero Gs throughout this entire <laughs> situation. So let me see if I can find a clip where I was actually moving. Let me turn all of these on so we can see what they look like. And let's see. Yeah. So now I'm actually driving. So here you can definitely see the speed tracker is a lot more accurate than just sitting still. Um, and so we have our miles per hour. You can see, oh, I'm in a 30 mile an hour zone and I was going 34. So um, <clears throat> there's that. Um, the G-Force, let's look at the G-Force. Um, that's not really that exciting. So I'm not even really driving that fast. Um, and then looking at 
the actual map here. This looks pretty accurate. I was driving down a straight road, right? So I backed out of my driveway and then I drove down a straight road and then I turned. So that's pretty accurate. Let's look at this one. I'm gonna move it over here so I can see, see the data. Where did it go? Why did it move? So the distance, it's working. Um, and yeah, so it appears that all of these things are actually pretty accurate when you are moving. And if you're not moving, like if you're just sitting in your driveway talking to your camera, then they're not exactly accurate. So you could arrange these things however you wanted um, on your on your screen. And it's going to, I think it'll depend a little bit, like what exactly you're doing, you know, what the activity is that you're doing, whether you'd want to display things or not. Like the G-Force, I don't, I don't think I need that. If I was driving my car like around a racetrack or something, maybe I might want that. Um, same thing with the speed tracker, you know, just literally driving down my street and then turning. It's like, it's a little bit boring there. Um, that's how you use the GPS function um, within GoPro's quick app um, when you're on this little kind of like quick editing uh, screen. If you open this up let's see let me open up a couple of these in create mode i'm just gonna hit a couple of highlights so that it adds them down to our track so if i come over here to this one it has it has the g-force on there i'm gonna hit the uh, pencil icon and then come over here to adjust gauges and this is where you can add things over here. You can, I'm gonna deselect the G4, so it's gonna get rid of that. So a similar kind of situation, you just click it and it will add it, and then you can resize it or reposition it <clears throat> or do whatever you want to there, and then hit apply, and then that will be applied to that clip, um, to that, you know, that little section of the clip. Um, you'd have to go in here for every little section and decide what you were going to have or, or not have um, on there, right? So hit apply, we'll just add a, add a logo there. So that's the two ways that you can add your, uh, your GPS data to your videos within the GoPro Quick for desktop. Unfortunately, to my knowledge, there you can't uh, you can't really transfer your GPS data over to like say GoPro Studio or another video editor. It's really only within Quick at this point. So if you wanna use clips with that GPS data on them outside of the Quick app for desktop, what you would wanna do then is just um, double click on your clips there, add whatever you want to um, add here. So. You wanna arrange them exactly how you want them to be, wherever you want them to be. Um, and then this whole entire clip, so this all this stuff is going to be applied to this whole entire clip. This is a three minute, 16 second long clip. And I'm gonna come down here to the scissor tool and hit create a clip. And we can actually take this whole entire clip and hit save. And it's saving us a new clip. We're gonna just keep the quality where it's at and just hit save. And then this is going to save to your hard drive. So it's making a copy of that clip with the GPS data overlaid exactly where you put it. So you're really not exporting the data per se. You're really, you're just exporting the graphics as they show up on your screen. And then you'll be able to take that clip just like any other GoPro clip and import it into any other video editing platform. And we're actually gonna talk about some of the video editing platforms that are available in the next video in this series. So I hope that was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you've been using the GPS feature or if you just kind of find it unnecessary. And let me know what situations you actually use the GPS on. Give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful for you. And you can go back and grab my GoPro settings cheat sheet if you don't have it yet. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.